uh, they put it to me like this. They said, well, uh, do you think God wants you giving back still smoking? That hit home. That hit home. So I, I thought about it. And uh, again, by the uh, grace and mercy of God, I quit smoking. So, uh, and, and, and it goes a little deeper than that because uh, I, I, it's, you can have everything else. I told here, take everything else. But this cigarette is mine. This is what I want. Let me have this. You know, you can't touch this. Now that I've let it all go and fully surrendered it all to God, said here, it's like a wall that's been knocked down. And, and it's just an open door between me and him now. There's nothing else that's going to stop us. There's nothing in front of us, God. So it, it's, it's just a truly... It, oh, and, and I feel this too. I was never, when I lived the life of sin, I wasn't afraid to die. I was like living full, full throttle. I ain't afraid to die. You know, the world would be a better place without me. But now, now that I've accepted Christ in my heart and, and all this has happened to me, now I care. Now I want uh, to live. I want to live for Christ. I want to be a, a warrior for Christ. And I also uh, think of cigarettes like this. I think, uh, I, I don't want to die. My mom actually is dying from every season of cancer through smoking. And, and I was just thinking this, I don't want to die. There's too much work for me to do now. I have too many people to talk to. Too much to do. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. 